Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. In today's video I am going to show you how to set up a 1.13 Spigot server and I'm going to uh, show you how to update from an older version or a non-Spigot version. And this is the exact same for Bucket. So if you want to just do the update there will be a link on the screen now or a time where you can go to that time and see it from there. So uh, Let's just continue with how you make the server. So first things first, you need uh, to make a folder. For that's the that's the first thing. So we're just gonna make this uh, MC Spigot Server 1.13. Boom. Doesn't have to be that. It's just the folder for the server. So I'm just going to go in here and as you can see we're in the folder now and then you go onto this website called getbucket.org and then you just uh, download what you choose and well I would choose Spigot because that's what I've always been using and haven't found any problem with it. So you do go ahead and download this one or save it and then the easiest thing it is to go on to uh, the Minecraft site oh, if I can spell right like that minecraft.net and you go up on menu and then uh, trial and download and then under uh, set up your own Minecraft server just like in the last tutorial and you go on and just uh, copy this so just copy it and you can actually close down these sites when your download is done. It's a bigger download this time, as you can see. So it takes a bit longer, but no problem. And as you can see the download is finished. And we just drag and drop this into the folder we opened, I uh, created, and then you can just close down the site. So what you want to do now is uh, you know you you copied the the text, or the the run command, from uh, from uh, Minecraft.net site, and then you just make a full uh, a file called whatever, just uh, and open it and copy and paste this in. What you want to do now is you want to take a look at this, spigot dash 1.13. So I'm just gonna do take and remove this, put in spigot dash 1.13 but okay so we can just go through this this is just to run java or java and this is the max amount of ram that the server is allowed to use and this is the styling ram so this is just capped at uh, one gigab one gigabyte is, um, all the time and then because it's java you has you have a dash java and then the name of the file and then node ui so that's a quick run through of what it is. Then you just go ahead and save as. Then now you need to change it. It doesn't have to be, but it, it could still be whatever. So you just uh, do run or something else. It's just easier to locate it when it's called that. Then you uh, do dot bat. It's very important, very important that you do dot bat. Then you go ahead and, and press all files. This is also very important for it to see that it is a bad file when you save it. So just save it and then you can actually delete this random thing right here we created. So now you just double press on the run you'll see there com comes this command prompt or cmd and I don't know why but it is well not the newest <laughs> build so uh, just run it and after 57, 15 seconds uh, your server will start up. No problem there. As you can see it's starting right now. So what we're gonna do is uh, go up to this EULA when it's done because you need to accept the license of having a server. And you just open this and uh, wait. And then you just go up here and just do true instead of false because you want to accept the EULA and then you just uh, double press on run again and 
Give the server 15 seconds. So as you can see now this, the, the level is generating. Generating all new down here. And while it's doing that, well I think, yeah it needs to prepare all the levels. So it's uh, level 0, 1 and 2. And 0 is the overworld, then we have uh, 1 which is the nether and we have 2 which is the earth. That's why it's so quick. And then we just go into Minecraft 1.13 and then you go to multiplayer and as you can see this is uh, I just uh, called it localhost but uh, if you need help to port forwarding if you want your friends to get on then you go up to the the thing I put in the cards up here where the, it is a port forward tutorial so you can get a real IP so your friends can join from other places and other that is not your house so we just go ahead and click uh, login and it is locking in as you can see up here it is locking in as well so uh, as you can see we are in let's just uh, give it a sec to load in here so it doesn't lag out but uh, yeah Minecraft 1.13 is definitely harder to run so as you can see the <laughs> I think uh, some of the trees are uh, glitching a bit because uh, as you can see it's only the bottom parts but uh, that doesn't matter. So now you, if you want to OP yourself, obviously, you just go up here and then do uh, OP followed by the name of the person, in this instance myself, you want to op uh, OP in the server. So uh, as you can see my name has now been a server moderator and I can do sla um, in the chat I can do slash uh, game mode and then oh, uh, game mode and then creative boom and I can fly around all I want so I just need to see if these trees are fine before we continue. Yeah, okay, they are. It's just uh, these trees that are glitched. Some of them around the spawn area, but uh, yeah, shouldn't be happening for any other than me. Just uh, sad coincidence. <laughs> well, okay. So uh, now for the second part of this video, which starts now, how you can update a world and for that I am just going to leave the server again close this one up here by typing stop and I'm just going to copy this because that's the easiest um, and then up in whatever folder I'm just going to for, for example the one I made last time with the 1.13 server I'm just going to go in here and then you're just going to paste which is up here paste and then just remove the server one. Then you go up into run and then you just wait for it and you just edit this .jar file here. So it says spigot-1.13 as the file is. And if you change the name of the file, doesn't matter, just you need to these two need to be the same. And then just save and just run it and just wait and I will see you in Minecraft and as you can see we are on our way into Minecraft again and I didn't show this last time but uh, I'm sure the this is kind of the same way so you could just do uh, PL just uh, for, for the reference that you know it's a a, a speaker server so that's how you do that and thanks for watching I hope you enjoy and I can see the this is the the place where we last left up but uh, that's all good and hope you like the video please like comment and subscribe it would really help out the channel and just it will help improve the quality of the videos. I am very close to getting a GTX 1060 Ti, uh, not Ti, um, 
super clocked 6 gigabyte version from EVGA so I just need the last bit of money and I think the boost from you guys will just help me reach the reach my goal so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one bye